Hi, this is Sarah, and I hope everybody's having a great holiday season. I wanted to show you how to make these quick, uh, really pretty candles, just using some uh, plain candles that you can get at the store, uh, plain candles and a decorative napkin, and uh, of course, or tissue, and then some uh, embellishments, like I used some uh, ribbon here. Um, you can leave it even plain. I think they still look really nice, even plain. Uh, and uh, really, they're functional and uh, pretty to set out. And, but you could do this for any season. You have Valentine's or uh, birthdays or whatever. So um, anyway, we'll get started and I'll show you how to do this. It's really simple. You just need uh, the candle. Um, you need um, some paper towel or uh, wax paper to uh, set your project on or a silicone mat. Uh, you need a decorative napkin that you like and uh, then embellishments and uh, that's it. So we'll get going right now. So the first step is that you're going to take your napkin and on the back of the napkin um, you'll see that there's it's double sided. So you'll want to get rid of this bottom layer and I thought it just requires a little fiddling to get rid of this bottom layer. And if you decoupage before with napkins and you know what I'm talking about here if you haven't well you just separate it, um, get a little piece separated, and then this uh, bottom layer, it's a double ply napkin, it just pulls apart. And if you have a decorative, uh, uh, maybe you have some decorative uh, uh, Kleenex, um, you know, they come in those little Kleenex packages that you can get, um, or anything, you know, it's uh, tissue from a, from a present last year or anything. So um, just separate them. And once you separate it, you'll have uh, a sheet of napkin, a sheet of white tissue, and the white tissue you can do something else with. And then uh, cut pieces of your napkin so that they fit around the cylinder of your uh, fit around the cylinder of your candle, just like that. Okay, really straightforward. So you're just going to want to fit it around. And this one's a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim a little bit off the edge and uh, cut enough pieces of napkin to fit around the number of candles you have. Um, once you get going on this, you're not gonna want to, you're gonna wanna do this assembly line fashion. So you don't wanna just be, uh, you wanna get everything cut ahead of time, you know, and get it ready to go. So you can just do it one right after the other. All right, so then um, I'm going to use, when I look at this, um, I'm gonna tuck this end under because I like these berries to be showing, but more. Uh, and you can do this one of two ways. Um, you can either uh, immediately get this hot and tack this down with um, just the wax underneath because basically what's gonna happen, we're gonna use our heat gun and heat this up just a little bit the outside. The wax will pull through and it'll make this a permanent layer on the outside of the candle. So I'm um, giving it that rigidity. Um, or you can just take a little bit of glue. Again, I use a little bit of glue all, works great. And tack down the edge, just a very small, very, very small piece, um, small bead, I should say. And not very much. And all that'll do is tack it down to make it easier to work. So again, I'm going to keep that on the outside as it wraps around. So I'm going to put this down. And that'll hold still. And I'm just going to roll this a little bit. And this paper towel I'm using instead of a silicone mat just because it has a little bit more texture. So it holds the candle easier for me. But you can totally use your silicone mat or a glass mat even works well. Um, so um, I'm going to turn on my heat gun. I'm going to point the heat gun here. As the heat gun goes and works, you'll see that the napkin changes from this paper look. It actually, you can see that it's impregnated and the wax pulls through it. So you don't want to, once it does that, once the wax comes through the napkin and wicks through the napkin, you want to stop and move the heat gun. Otherwise you'll melt the candle and get it a misshapen candle. So just um, keep an eye on this. Um, remember heat guns are hot, so don't be pointed at it at your hands or paper for a long period of time. If it's not working, um, stop and reevaluate. Um, you don't want to catch things on fire. Um, so, all right, I'm going to turn on my heat gun. So um, as you saw, it goes pretty quickly. 
and I just go, like you saw, I just roll it along, and there you go. It's in there now, forever. <laughs> or, I mean, you can peel it off, I guess, but um, it's on there now. So the candle's a little warm on the outside, not hot. Um, you saw how quickly that went. I just go through and make sure all the pieces are down, make sure I didn't miss any spots. Uh, but yeah, it looks good. So that one's done, and I'll go ahead and do the next one. All right, so that's done. So now I've got four of these candles to give away as gifts. And you can definitely, um, you know, buy dollar store candles or anything, you know, just plain candles or scented candles and uh, uh, do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate these and uh, come back when that's done. Okay, decorations are done and let's show you what we've got here. So um, I did four candles and uh, I did the one I showed you at the beginning with a little elegant uh, knotted piece of wired ribbon. And uh, I think this is really pretty. It's a little pretty elegant. And the wired ribbon keeps the, uh, keeps the tail wrapped around the edge. So just a simple square knot and uh, wrapped around. Put that there. And then I did one that was a little bit more rustic slash had more of that uh, country vibe with a doubled up button in the front and some baker's twine around the back. I wrapped it three times and then just uh, put it through the uh, buttons and knotted it behind. So I think that's really cute and simple. And then uh, this one I did, I uh, stamped and embossed a uh, this Make It Merry and put it on a piece of uh, wood print paper and put in a couple of eyelets and then wrapped some uh, twine around the back and just knotted it simply. And I used this one to uh, cover the seam so the whole thing looks uh, more seamless. Um, I will put a note in for the person when they burn this candle to make sure that they um, take the piece of paper off because that's flammable. Um, and then the person can use this Make It Merry for another candle if they do want to burn it. Um, or as a tag or something for a uh, present. And this one is really simple just to show you how simple this can actually be decorated. Um, I just put a piece of gold uh, uh, glitter washi tape at the bottom. I did put some, I put some, with this gold glitter washi tape, I put some additional uh, glue underneath to help hold it. And I just matched the seam up in the back here where the seam is already from the, uh, the napkin. So those are the four, uh, the four here from uh, the most simplest to the one more labor intensive. So a uh, washi tape, a simple uh, knot, um, putting a button on it with some baker's twine and then uh, making a, a pretty tag for the front of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this and if you do make this, uh, please tag me on Instagram, uh, Sarah C. Berry. I would love to, uh, love to see your creations and Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and have a wonderful, restful holiday. Bye, everybody.